So at this point you have created the various report and form combinations as well as the master detail pages. All that is left is for you to enter some data into the application. Now while entering data, of course it's just a matter of opening up forms and putting in data into the forms, but there could be some tricky areas that you need to think about. So let's take this example of uh, entering data into a master detail form. Now if you recall, we entered one sales order. Let's go ahead, edit that sales order and then that puts us into the master detail form for the sales order. Okay, so the master details are fine, the sales order, but in the order details, we are trying to enter some data. Okay, now uh, first of all, before uh, we can just start entering data, there's no problem entering a quantity. We can enter some quantity, let's say 10. Okay, but we do need to enter a product ID. Okay, now at this point, we actually don't have any products. Okay, so what product ID do we enter? Okay, let's just say uh, we'll enter product ID 20 and see what happens. Okay, of course we understand that there is no product in our database with ID 20. But let's see what happens if we do enter the ID of a product that does not exist. Well, as expected it fails, right? Because uh, Oracle tries to enter the data but it's a foreign key uh, obviously if the product ID 20 doesn't exist in the product table how can somebody order that product it's not possible right so we should not allow the product ID 20 to appear in a sales order okay so if somebody enters product ID 20 the system automatically rejects it because in order item product ID is a foreign key and the database system will only allow you to enter values for a foreign key if it already exists as a primary key if it doesn't exist as a primary key then the value cannot be entered as a foreign key okay and this is automatically taken care of by the system okay so that's what really happened here so it rejected that number okay and that's what I'm explaining right here so let's try to fix this problem so uh, just as we created uh, a report form combination for customer do the same for products in other words go through the same steps that you used for creating a customer report and form combo do that for product and then enter data for two products okay so once we do that we'll be in a position to go ahead and enter data for the new sales orders right so right now we have two products and we can then go back into the same sales order that we started earlier okay um, so first we've got our two products now we want to go into sales order right we want to go into sales order so we open up the navigation enter sales order and then go ahead and edit our existing sales order okay so we edit the sales order and we get into a master detail now we go into uh, the same uh, order item enter some quantity and this time we enter one for product ID okay we enter one of our existing products for product ID okay and then we save changes and it works And this time what we want to do is to enter another order item. So we do an add row, create a new row and then enter the details for that 
uh, order item so that's the whole idea of a master detail you've got a master area you've got a detail area and within the detail area you can keep on adding as many rows as you want it comes by default with one row you can keep on adding more rows okay so I showed you how to enter data into a master detail form and along the way I also showed you uh, what problems you might face when you have to enter a foreign key value and you enter the wrong value for the foreign key now this problem is not isolated to master detail forms it can happen in any form when there is a foreign key now fortunately for us Oracle already takes care of uh, uh, this issue in the report form combinations because it automatically creates a drop down for master uh, for foreign keys and everything works fine because once it creates a drop down then you can only pick from the drop down so there is no risk of you entering any wrong values okay so if you run into a situation where you drop the drop down and it has no value for you to enter then what you need to do of course is go back to that corresponding table enter some data and then come back here again and then you will see the values okay so when you are entering data for your project you have to enter the data in a certain sequence within the tables okay so first uh, for tables uh, which don't themselves have any foreign keys you should enter values okay and then you can start entering values for other ta other forms in which the earlier ones appear as foreign keys then you will not run into any of these problems okay but I think the core issue is that you need to understand where, why you get these referential integrity violation errors okay and that happens because you're entering a foreign key value which does not exist and that makes no sense at all okay so now when you save the data everything works fine okay so what you need to do now is we learned how to create standalone report form combinations and we also learned how to create master detail pages and I also showed you how to enter data into these various forms okay so now all you have to do is to make sure that you have a standalone report form combinations for all standalone entities which you're going to edit by themselves and you have the master detail forms for uh, any of your associative entities once you do that and enter a few race rows of data into all of your forms you're done your project is done okay that's all there is uh, I think you should be able to actually you know once you uh, select an area develop a project description and uh, uh, create your logical model once you reach that point after that completing your mat project is just a matter of a few hours that's all there is to it